What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in to the You Matter TV. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are all here. And I just wanted to start by introducing myself. My name is Haley Drake. I am a, stu a senior at Piedra Vista High School. I am very involved with the soccer team. I'm the team manager and the varsity golf team, student senate, um, you matter. And um, I'm very involved in my church. And now we're gonna introduce the rest of our team that is here with us. Um, my name is Andrew. I'm a senior at Bloomfield High School. Um, I play varsity football, I run varsity track. Um, I'm president of our honor, National Honor Society at Bluefield High, and I'm in student council. My name is Ava. I go to Farmington High School, and I play volleyball, and I'm in Honor Society. Um, my name is Jocelyn Brooks. I go to Aztec High. Um, I'm in student council and National Honor Society, and then I'm also a dancer, and I'm involved in my youth group in my church. Um, my name is Mariana Sawyer. I go to Farmington High School. Uh, I play tennis. I'm, I'm also the president of NHS. FHS and um, I'm in youth peer to peer helpers and that's basically all I do. Awesome. All right, so now we are going to get into our stories and I'll start off with my story. Um, uh, ever since I was young, was yay big for my whole life. I've been playing soccer and I absolutely fell in love with that sport and I put so much of my time my effort, money, like everything was into soccer and I just associated most of my identity as a soccer player. But then eventually I got hurt and I got a lot of kicks to the head and so my senior year I did have to quit and I could no longer do any contact sports or anything like that. And that was a really hard time because for the longest time I was just, I just thought of myself as, oh, I'm a soccer player and I'm like pretty good at it. So like that's just my thing. But then having that get taken away from me was very hard. And then you also have to, I also was like dealing with all of the actual like health issues behind it. And I still am dealing with those things. And um, it's definitely not the ideal situation I want to be in. But um, I feel like it's definitely like shaping me to who I am today. And I do believe that everything that happens and every experience, like good or bad, it all just comes together like a puzzle and just shapes who you are and the person that you were created to be. Um, I guess I'll go next. Uh, my story, um, both my parents kind of struggled with addiction as they were growing up when they were probably my age. And so I was kind of born into all that, um, seeing some stuff that I probably shouldn't have seen at a young age. Um, I have a little sister, um, try to help her get out of all that. But a big thing for me was sports. Friends, um, found really good friends to kind of keep me out of all that. Um, football, I've been doing it 12, 13 <coughs> years. Um, played baseball for 12 years. Um, so that kind of helped me stay out of that and kind of make good decisions and kind of uh, find a way to get out of all that, so. My story is about um, my eighth grade year. That's when COVID hit and I lost a lot of my good friends because I couldn't see them anymore. And I was starting to feel really lonely and it led me into like, a wrong group of friends and then I was making really bad choices and I was falling under peer pressure. So I was doing a lot of things I shouldn't have been involved with and I was growing apart from my friends, like my family, my church, volleyball. And then um, it really just like took me down a bad path. And then eventually, I needed to clean up my actions and I started making better choices and getting closer to my family and things that were important to me. And I learned to make better friends that helped me make good choices to where I am now. Um, so when I was in sixth grade, my family got a phone call from Child Protective Services and um, they told us that my aunt was a drug addict and that we needed to take my um, cousins because they were both addicted to meth. Um, and so we just had to, my family's had to deal with the effects of that for a really long time. Um, and so I think that just really showed me that even though other people do things like this, um, it's up to me to be a better mentor for my siblings, well, my cousins and my siblings. But, um, and that I want to stay drug and alcohol free so that I can keep a good relationship with Jesus Christ and with the people around me. 
Um, my story is just about how, well, I've always been like kind of anxious, but then um, I started to experience like a lot of panic, panic attacks and I didn't really know what to do, but luckily I was able to uh, go to my parents and some other people in my family and uh, kind of understand what was going on with me and how to accept myself uh, for being kind of anxious all the time, but also kind of tone down with the panic attacks too. So we're going to icebreakers. Okay. Kinda. So we have a few <laughs> icebreakers. <Lighten> a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> um, so I guess we can start with like our favorite subjects in school right now. Um, we're just going to like go in order? Y yeah, sure. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll go. My favorite subject <laughs> is between English because I really like to write and I've always just found it as like very therapeutic and Senate because it is an easy A and <laughs> I get to know everything that goes on and it's kind of cool. <laughs> Um, mine would definitely be chemistry. Um, I'm just a big science nerd. I love science, and it kind of comes to me pretty easily, and so it's just really fun for me to do, easy for me to do. Mine is psychology because I think it's really cool to learn the motives behind people and why they do the things they do. Um, I really love history and English, probably for the same reason as you for English, but history, I don't know why I like it, honestly. <laughs> I just really do. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I really like history too. I remember whenever I was younger, I'd watch like Khan Academy videos just of like history <laughs> during those times. <laughs> <That's what I laughs> <did> yeah, <laughs> they're like they're kind of entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I guess going into subjects, like what? Who's your guys' like favorite teacher? I guess we won't, probably won't know them. But. Um, I have a teacher. I have two. One, his name is Mr. Johnston. He's such a dog, honestly. Like he's super understanding and cares a lot about his students. And then another one is Mr. Burns. He's my Senate teacher and history teacher, pretty much Paul's teacher. Every, he's, a, he's all my teacher for everything. <laughs> and he's just very wise. Like, he has very good advice, and he served in the Army, so he always just gives us, like, very, like, good advice and goes, tells us stories about the Army. I don't know. It's very cool. Um, <laughs> my favorite my teacher would probably be my history teacher, um, Ms. Barrett. She's just really cool, laid back, and kind of knows how to make the topic um, interesting and wants you to learn more about it. And actually, uh, her English teacher this year was my English teacher my sophomore year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he yeah, he's, re he's really cool. He was, he was probably my favorite teacher there when he was oh, at the Um My favorite teacher would be Mr. King. You don't know King. Um, he teaches geometry. I haven't had him since sophomore year, but He's my favorite teacher because he's the head of the baseball team. He's like their coach. And when all my friends are in there, he always just gives us like all the inside tea for all the baseball guys. So yeah, and he, I just, we're all a part of the baseball team with him. <laughs> um, mine is probably Anna Strauss. She's our um, student council like advisor. I don't know if that's the right word, but um, I love her and she's awesome. Um, She's a little crazy, but she's a great teacher and she does great things with our student council and yeah. So. Um, I guess my favorite teacher is probably like, I really like all my history teachers that I've had in high school. So like maybe Mr. Schrantz or Mr. Esselman because they're really nice and really helped me learn a lot. Which is really helpful. Um, okay, so what movie do you guys wish that you could like watch again for like the first time? Like just that feeling again. Uh, for me, it was Christmas Vacation. I love that movie <laughs> so much. I only watch it like in December, but every December I'm so excited to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I, I have to say it again, I love the Harry Potter movies. I love them. Uh, I've watched them probably like 30 times, read all the books, love the books. Um, so just the memories of it. Plus I was really little when I watched them and re read the books. So it's kind of bring back core memories when I watched that movie. Nice. <laughs> Mine will probably be Clueless. I feel like that's a really basic movie, but it's just one you can always watch, like whenever you want. It doesn't matter the mood you're in. It's just one you can fall back on. Um, mine's probably Casablanca. It's just like an old black and white film. Love it. It's a classic. You can watch it anytime. It's great. <laughs> um, mine's probably, I think, at first I was thinking like 10 things I hate about you because it's just like, it's a lot like, I don't know, Clueless, like you can watch it whenever. It's uh -huh. like really fun, but I like, um, I always think about the Lego movie, um, which, <laughs> the Lego like, movie. <laughs> I just want to go back to, like, whenever I watched it the first time, because I was like, this is, like, the best movie ever, like, whenever <laughs> I was eight years old. Okay, I, I, got, I got a question to talk about movies. Night Before Christmas. Christmas movie, Halloween movie. 
I've never seen it's it. It's both. You've never watched the oh, night. I, no. I literally live under a rock. <laughs> really? Oh my. <laughs> you guys have to watch it. I saw like part of it one time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I love like, that movie. It always scared me as a kid. <laughs> yes. Yes. What? I love yeah. that movie. Is that the one that goes like, this is Halloween? Yeah. 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 So maybe it's Halloween then. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I think it's both. It's both. So you can watch it in like November. Like a good in between. Well, cause he okay. I'll give you a little spoiler. <laughs> so he's from Halloween Town, but he goes to Christmas Town. Yes. So it's about both. Oh. He goes to Christmas Town and pretends to be Santa. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. We're, we're gonna we're watching that. Right. We're gonna we're, watch we'll it. watch that. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so I guess um, show your phone backgrounds and like explain why it's or your phone wallpaper are we doing like like our home screen or like screen and lock screen whatever i'll do both yeah, yeah. Right. Both. Wait, can, they, can they see it should i just say it yeah i'll just describe it so it's white <laughs> and then in green letters it says god's plan is worth the wait isaiah 30 18 and that's always just every time i'm going through something in life that is always what i think about because the reality is, is that no matter what, like God has a plan. I just have to wait because it's going to be in His timing. It's going to be great when it's in His timing. And then I have um, another. This is my this is my home. This is home my home screen, screen. Yeah. and it says, "Do everything in love," because you know, if you're there's no point in being mean to people because then I don't know. I, it just doesn't. It's not fulfilling at all. It's like you just. There's just, there's just nothing good about it. Like, let's just think about that. <laughs> and then I have pictures with, like, like, the little widgets. I love the widgets. I have it with all my, like, really close friends and just a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Um, mine is just, like, a really, I don't know if they can really see it, but mine's just a really pretty skyline picture um, as my lock screen. And then my home screen is just a picture of me and my two best friends from our prom pictures. Nice. <laughs> I actually have prom pictures, too. That's going to be on the lock screen. It's just me and all my girlfriends posing. And then the next screen's kind of sad. Um, it's just me and my great grandma. But it was this summer. It was the last time I was going to see her. So I always just, I left it my home screen so I would remember her whenever I needed to. Uh, my home screen is pictures of me and my boyfriend. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, I don't know how to explain that one. <laughs> and then um, my, my home, or my, yeah, home screen. Mm -hmm. My yeah. home screen is like it's it's a Jew or like a Hebrew word, but I don't know how to say it because I'm not Jewish um, or Hebrew <laughs> or anything. But it means here I am, God. So that's my favorite like phrase, I guess. Um, mine is just of my. Oh wait, I don't know. Mine is just <laughs> of my friends um, and my sister. It was a fun day. We went to the park and ate ice cream, and during the summer it was really fun. Aww. And it's the same as my home screen. So. Dang, mm -hmm. look at that. <laughs> just the same. Yeah, I <laughs> um, whoops, I just lost it. Okay. Um, what was the last thing you guys ate today? On my way here, I, dude, it was the <laughs> best cookie I've ever <laughs> eaten in my life. That was so good. But Where was it from? Was it a homemade one? Yeah, my mom, well, Oof. it's my grandma's recipe, but my mom made them. And it's like, it has oatmeal chocolate chips and cornflakes and it oh. slaps <laughs> <laughs> so good <laughs> next uh, <laughs> i had a uh, chick-fil-a waffle fries mm. love them nice love them but that's all oh, that's what i had on the way here nice i have mikasa if Oof. any of you guys are gone it's oh, so good, good. Really that good. would be Perfect. awesome what mm -hmm. did you have from there um, so my family actually went yesterday, so it was leftovers, but it was rice, the noodles, and then sesame chicken. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. um, I had a couple of pizza rolls. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> That was my lunch. <laughs> I just had um, Annie's mac and cheese. So. Can't it's go really wrong with yummy. that. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. I was that so happy. So good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess going back to, like, the... Christmas and Halloween, like what's your guys' favorite holiday and why? Ooh, you know, when I think of holidays, I think of like September. Cause then like, like that's like whenever you get like, wait, oh. no, October, you get like <laughs> Halloween. I was like, what's September? <laughs> yeah, what's September? <laughs> you get like Halloween, November, Christmas, like that whole chunk, like those like three like 
Yeah. Holidays, bro. All in one. I'm in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, I, I can't, I have no favorite. Like, they're all so great. Yeah. Yeah, the back end of the month is de or of the year, I guess, is definitely the best part of the year, but might probably be Christmas. I don't know, because um, sometimes we go to Colorado, and I love the snow up there. It's just beautiful up there, so. Mine would probably be Christmas, too. I think mostly because, like, all the Christmas songs, and I feel like it just puts you in, like, a really happy, like, <laughs> mood for that whole month. <laughs> Mine's either Christmas or Halloween. I love Christmas, and it's, like, a great time of the year, and you just, like, Wor like worship services and like church just gets 10 times better around Christmas and like my birthday is right around Christmas and oh, like you just have breaks so like it's a good time but mm -hmm. also I really love Halloween and I love like spooky season so <laughs> <laughs> it's a time. <laughs> Mine's probably also Christmas I feel like it's so nostalgic and like just like listening to the Christmas songs I just exactly. like mm -hmm. it takes me back like I don't know and I like not having school too. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's your like favorite like movie genre to watch, like comedies or horror. I don't you know. know, you can never go wrong with a good old rom com. I, I love rom coms. <laughs> I like, yeah, that's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much it. Scary movies all the way. I love scary movies. Nah, I could, I could watch I it any know. day of the week, any time. <laughs> I don't care. I love scary movies. Well, what would you say the difference is between a horror and a thriller then? Because like I've never understood. Um, that. so like Scream is more like a thriller. It's kind of, it's not like scary. Um, but like scary, like a horror movie is more scary than a thriller. Yeah, I've never I seen would say. Scream. Really? We yeah. gotta catch you up. <laughs> yeah, we, I know. We I'm telling you, you <laughs> movies—they're not my thing. <laughs> oh my! None of them. <laughs> Dang. Uh, yeah, but scary movies for me, in my opinion. Nice. I would probably say action, just because I feel like you can watch that like with your family wherever, and it's not like boring. Because when a movie is just like really boring, I can't watch it. Yeah. So I feel like all action ones like get you invested? Uh, mine's probably scary too. Or like like the thriller like documentaries. Like my family's always watched like the killer documentaries. Those are so stuff. good to yeah. watch. Like that's what I grew up watching. So like scary movies have never been scary to me. Yeah. So that's definitely like my comfort favorite kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> mine's also probably rom-coms. I mm. My sister, whenever she like comes back from college, we just like watch rom-coms every day. Like. Every night, there would be a different rom-com playing on the TV. I love that. It's so good. <laughs> um, let's see. Which country or, like, state would you guys, like, most want to live in? Um, I would like to live in Thailand. A little while back, I went on a mission trip over in Thailand for a few weeks. Oh, that's cool. Well, loved it. The people are super cool. It's really pretty there. The food... It was all right, you know? <laughs> I ate rice every single day, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Like, I just really like it there. Um, I don't know. I feel like Greenland, Iceland, like that kind of area, what I like, or the Netherlands, I think would be really cool. Um, I think it's just a really good and interesting culture over there. Nice. Um, I guess I would say Italy, just because I always love, like, the art, like, the architect over there, like how like the houses and everything are set up and like how tiny they are <laughs> and like close. I don't know, I just think they're cute. <laughs> um, I would probably say Greece. I've never been outside of the country, so I don't have much experience, <laughs> but um, <laughs> probably, yeah, I'd say Greece because I think they probably have good food. <laughs> I mean, it's really pretty there from all the pictures I've seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I think I would probably say Portugal. I really like the I don't know, just like everything about it, like the food is really good and just like uh, the architecture too, like how mm -hmm. you said. But like Greece and like Italy are so, like all of those yeah. countries that you guys said, like I would, li I would I'll have like a house anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. If I were rich, but. <laughs> oh my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what like, is your guys' like favorite song right now? Like you could listen to it on repeat and like not get oh, bored of it. I don't think that. Yeah, I, I gotta know. look at my Spotify. <laughs> yeah, I know. I gotta look played. at my Apple Music real quick. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, you know, I gotta look. I, I, got, I can listen to any Taylor Swift song. <laughs> I was just about on to say repeat, that. Mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Like that is just that is my girl right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right now, I'd probably go "All Falls Down" by Kanye West. I really love that song. Okay. I've, it's, been on repeat, honestly. I, I love that song. <laughs> I can't really pick a song, so I would say Taylor Swift or else The Weeknd. I just love The Weeknd. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm in like a total country phase right now. <laughs> so definitely anything by Luke Combs and anything by like Kane Brown, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I think I've been listening to like a lot of J. Cole lately. Like, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. J. Cole is so good. I like my favorite. I like um, from their dream, his Dreamville album, um, or like with Dreamville. I don't mm -hmm. know. Like, um, Self Love by Ari Lennox. Mm -hmm. and, like, oh, oh it's so that good. I can, is good. I just like yeah. listen to that. Like, like blast my car. <laughs> <laughs> and, but yeah. I guess like going into music, like who's your like least favorite artist now? I guess. Least or, like, favorite? Favorite then least favorite. Okay. okay. Least favorite? Like who you um, can't listen to. <laughs> My favorite is Taylor Swift. I am that guy, and I am proud. <laughs> and my least favorite is probably Doja Cat. Oh, for oh obvious no, reasons. Yeah. Agreed. Because it's a little out of pocket, if we're being completely yeah. honest. Um, I don't know. I think she said it correctly. J. Cole, he's just my favorite of all time. I, he's so good. None of his songs miss. Like I, I can listen to any of his songs, no matter what mood, mood I'm in, and it just feels right. Um, and then on the same side, it was her, probably like Cardi B. I don't really listen to that type of music, I guess. <laughs> it's not for me. Dissing Cardi B. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not for me. <laughs> mm, mine would probably be J. Cole. I don't know how we forgot until you reminded me. <laughs> or Mac Miller, Miller. Yeah, yeah, Mac, Mac Miller. 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 So um, my least favorite? I don't like country, so I would probably say any country person. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just side eye. Oh, yeah, just side eye. <laughs> Um, I don't think I have a favorite. I listen to everything. Like, yeah. you can give me anything. I like Selena. I like Michael Jackson. Give me some Frank Sinatra. Oof, give me J. Yes. Cole. I'll be oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> like uh, <it>. <laughs> least favorite, I'd probably have to agree with you guys. Um, Doja Cat and Cardi, Cardi B. B. Cause they're both like, it's like the their same. music's not awful. It's just, I feel like it's so overrated for no reason. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's just out of pocket. Like yeah. he said, Literally. it's like, yeah. low. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I totally forgot who I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Like, I don't really like the baby's voice. Like, he just yeah, me either. The <laughs> baby, yeah. like who's it? Makes sense. But yeah, I just I can't. I don't know. I don't know why his voice just like really annoys me. But, <laughs> right now, uh, but right now, I think my favorite artist is Daniel Caesar. He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's good. a good one too. I'm going to a concert of his in oh. two weeks. Oh, that's so, so exciting. exciting. Take me with. Did you guys yeah, <laughs> take us with you? There was a Snoop Dogg concert. Did you guys know that in Albuquerque? Really? really? Yes, it was like two weeks ago, something like that. I didn't know that though, and I found that's out, cool. and I was kind of shocked because like, it I was so went. so close to us, three yeah. hours away. That's crazy. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up our You Matter TV. I'm so happy that you guys all were able to watch this. And this was fun, for sure. <laughs> so it was fun, and it was real. <laughs> Just like my Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Adios. <laughs>